Good morning everyone and today is Wednesday the 5th of February and it's been a very long time since one of these and as you can see I've turned on all the charm for my first video and um, I've just gotten out of bed so no makeup crazy hair um, here's little Jetty. Jed is going to be two on Saturday. Aren't you, Jed? Yeah. Yes. 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 Um, Lindsay has just left this morning for a three-day trip to Adelaide for work. He had one last week to Sydney as well. Um, so it's just Jetty and I. And it's a bit rainy at the moment. So I thought I'd just pick up the camera. Um, the reason I haven't done a video for a while is there's just been a, a lot happening uh, for us and in our family, which I will update you on. Um, so I just hasn't felt right or I don't know, we've been busy and whatnot. So anyway, um, I'm we're going to have breakfast and we're going to uh, with Jed's birthday on the weekend, I've got some um, party prep to do and I've got a lot of orders for Sweet Tilly Flint at the moment so we've got to go to the post office and things like that and have some fun and um, hi mister hi probably shouldn't be scooting inside but it's raining outside Rainy. it's raining <laughs> um, yeah and then I'll give you a bit of an update on what's been going on here okay bye good okay so we are back from our little shopping trip and I just thought I'd show you a few things that we got and um, it was just sort of a general had a few bits and pieces to get some things to Jed's party and whatnot um, but I also needed some new clothes for me, maternity type ones. Um, at the moment I'm wearing this big tent that I had for my last pregnancy and it's just really kind of mumsy and I just really needed a few more things. So I got some clothes that aren't actually maternity but they're wearable as maternity. And that's kind of my tactic this time. Not that I'm going to buy tons of clothes, or just what I need to get by. But I just find that when you're wearing clothes that aren't strictly maternity, I don't know, maternity clothes are a bit hit and miss. So these are just from Cotton On. Um, a plain black baby doll dress with little sleeves just a good throw on one um, and a t-shirt a stripy t-shirt dress it's got a bit of stretch in it you can't see but it, yeah stripy blue and to go over the top of that um, I got this pink shirt and I'm just going to like tie it there and wear it over the top I tried it on like that at the shop and I like that look and then this little sort of cropped top that has the buttons also to go over the top of that one or any type of dress like that you right daddy oh no I also bought this just white um, tank top type thing with a floral um, design on it to sort of tie there maybe wear over the top of a like a sleeve a sleeveless black dress or something like that so just a few pieces and I got some things from the Jed as well he's still in a lot of his size one clothes but they're getting snug um, so I need to get some more size two oh. One more thing that I got from Cotton On was just this hair thingy. So for Jed, um, 
from Big W. I just got these uh, Grosby shoes and from Cotton On Kids, I got him these, um, which is the size up, but I thought, so they're a bit too big for him right now, but sometimes you just need to get these things when you see them. So I'm trying to get him into shoes that have a little bit more support. At the moment he wears, like his winter shoes have support, but his summer ones, he's just been wearing like rubber thongs. So I know they're not the best. So a couple of just plain t-shirts from Cotton On. So just a bony colored one and a maroon one, which would go well with um, denim and things like that. And I got him this shirt, um, Biggie Smalls. It's quite bright. He does like wearing the bright shirts. I don't know if you can see him, but he's wearing like a bright orange shirt today. His favorite top is like this bright pink one. And he gets mistaken for a girl when he wears up. Can you say hi, Jenny? No. No. <laughs> so Jen's party on the weekend is a rainbow theme. And I know that sounds like a little girly, but the reason we're doing rainbow is because the party is, well, it's meant to be at, um, beside a beach called Rainbow Bay. Um, this is his invitation, by the way. It's from Zazzle. I got it printed there. Um, but, so it's at Rainbow Bay and we were going to go under these nice tropical trees and have a little like morning tea thing and then go for lunch at the rsl club but the weather's really bad so it looks like we're just gonna have to go have a big lunch we've got yeah shoes they're your new shoes aren't they do you want to try them on yeah maybe after lunch maybe after lunch yeah okay no um so that's okay we'll probably just yeah, do the big lunch with everyone instead. And I'll, I'm trying, obviously, rainbow might be a little more girly typically, but I'm keeping it keeping it boyish. Um, this is the cake we're doing. Um, it's called Cute Monster. It's from the Women's Weekly Cookbook. So nice, bright little guy there. And I have these napkins that are just from Kmart and some straws colorful rainbow straws and I got these um, I ordered these off eBay they're rainbow party bags so there's pink and blue green orange all sorts of colors so I'm going to do lolly bags for the kids and adults so it's it's like I think there's one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like about nine or so kids and the rest are adults because you know, he's turning two, he's at that age where he's sort of like family friends and things. And we've got these blue cups and these crown party hats that I got from Target. They were $2 for eight. So even if we are having it inside at a surf club, type venue i'm still going to just bring all this stuff in and decorate and i'll get some balloons and things um and food wise for the outdoor picnic i'm going to do big spotty smarty cookies chocolate crackles um colorful popcorn some cheesels and fruit sticks if it's just at the restaurant, I'll just take, I'll still take the chocolate crackles and cookies and I'm sure it'll be fine for me to put them there. But yeah, that's all his party stuff that's underway. So we're going to have lunch now because it is, oh, it's 25 past 11. We usually have lunch at 11, but he snapped in the pram at the shop. So I will leave that bit there and get back to you after. Bye. Daddy, roll it. Oh, that's a good game. Good one. I'm going to get some lunch ready for now, okay? Where did it go? <laughs> I got it. You got it.
you got it. Hello again. Okay, so I've just put Jed down for his nap. So now I'm going to finish off this uh, video by telling you about what's been happening lately. Uh, so I can't really remember the last time I made a video. It was, it would be a couple of months ago at least. Um, so the main thing that's been happening is unfortunately my mum has been really sick. I don't want to go too much into it because it's not my story to, to tell um, but basically just to, to tell you a little bit she went into hospital about a week and a half before Christmas to have just day surgery it was just supposed to be in there for four hours and then home and because of some complications from that surgery um, she's actually been in intensive care ever since so we're coming up to we're nearing two months. Um, she has been through the ringer. Um, there was a stage where we were told that she might not make it. Um, so absolute hands down worst day of my life. Um, just worst, Unimagin unimaginable, unfathomable, just awful. Um, as you can imagine but she has pulled through that she's doing much better now on the physical level so um, all indications are she'll she'll come out of that just fine um, but she is still in intensive care and she has a little way to go on the cognitive and mental side of things to be totally okay and hopefully she will be so that's what's been happening it's been very stressful very difficult time for everybody um it's been harder because mum and dad moved up here um a year ago uh i mean i'm so glad that i'm up here now so that i can be there to support both of them um, but it's tough with mum and dad without their support network around them and I'm sort of the main support network We do have other people of some other people around um, But sort of not super close Distance wise and whatever so it's been tough. It's been really tough lots of trips to the hospital lots of ups and downs roller coaster ride and just uncertainty and and not really sure of the path ahead completely but it's looking better now uh, obviously in making a video and like a, a, you know a fun video as most of this is i'm feeling heaps better about the situation and things in general to be able to do that i just obviously wasn't in a good space to be able to do that or you know anyway so that's what's been going on with the family but on a much happier note i i have news to share which is that i am pregnant again um and i am actually 20 weeks pregnant so i'm quite pregnant now <laughs> i've passed the half weight mark so that's wonderful news um we found out in Oh, I don't even know when we found out. It must have been, it must have been October-ish, I think. Anyway, so yeah, it's actually, I can tell you it, I can tell you if it's a boy or a girl, <laughs> drum roll, it's a boy. <laughs> um, so another little boy, a baby brother for Jed. Um, so yeah, the baby's due in June, um, mid-June and it's going well things are going well so far um, I guess I'll give you a little pregnancy recap the first trimester was difficult on two counts one because of the the miscarriage that I had before I was just um, just really worried that it was gonna happen again um, and couldn't really focus on much other than that it was sort of like every time I 
would go to the toilet I'd be waiting to see if there was you know signs of miscarriage and just sort of really anxious about that but then once you have once I had the dating scan and then the 12 week scan and everything's going well and then there's a heartbeat and everything you relax and now I feel quite relaxed there is still that little fear but for the most part I'm pretty relaxed about it um, first trimester was really rough from a morning sickness and fatigue perspective um, the fatigue was ridiculous like I just felt completely depleted of all energy all day long it was awful I was sleeping every nap time when Jed would go down for a nap thank goodness he's a three hour napper but like I'm usually busy um, doing work and and things so for me to go down and have a nap every day was just felt disgusting to me um, and also the nausea was kind of all day not just sporadic like it was with Jed it's settled down now I am still having bouts of nausea and sickness but they're more like short bursts which was how it was with Jed um, the swelling of my legs and feet sort of kicked in around week 18 nowhere near as bad as it got with Jed yet but we'll see um, bit of back pain bit of pelvic pain but apart from that pretty good um, so yeah we decided to find out whether we were having a boy or girl just so we could prepare we were actually thinking it was going to be a girl i was particularly thinking that way because i was feeling so sick and different this time than i was with jed i sort of, sort of had always pictured a girl in my like a little girl in my life and a daughter and lindsay had as well so it was sort of a big sort of shock to the system basically of oh that's not happening that's strange i know lots of people who have shared that, that um they would have liked um the experience of you know the son or, or a daughter it's the fact of life it's 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 what it is so some people share that information and some people don't it doesn't mean you not excited about having your, uh, your your baby boys absolutely I am it's just that you kind of pictured slump something slightly different but it doesn't even matter so long as they're healthy and we're so blessed to be able to have a little family so I'm getting more and more excited to um, to meet him and and yeah yeah I guess the other thing that's been going on two little things to catch you up um i've been putting a lot of work into my two business businesses for those of you who don't, who don't know i have one business editing and proofreading um, especially for businesses uh, websites blogs that type of thing and i have a an etsy business where i make wedding um, kids activity packs and also labels for wedding favors so i'm going to link those two below if you want to have a look at them been working really hard on those um, from a marketing perspective and and things so that's where a lot of my time and energy has been going and we've also been looking around um, the area northern New South Wales and Gold Coast to figure out where we want to live so we've actually made a map with drawing pins in it of um, places we want to look and then when we look at them we we put either a pin for yes no or maybe depending on just the vibe that we got from the area um, and we'll look deeper into sort of cost of housing schooling and whatever later at the moment we're really just going on um, like gut instinct and feel from the area which is so important so that's that's exciting and that's going well um, the other one last big piece of info I guess is that Jed's going to be starting um, family daycare soon 
So I had never imagined putting him into daycare until he was about three years old and I still feel a little bit funny slash guilty about it but um, sort of probably a month or two ago he did start to be um, he's not difficult but he does have a lot more difficult moments now that he's entering that two phase just those um you know you know the twos they they want to do their own way they're very set in their ways they don't like it when they don't get their own way um you know just those normal challenges um so when that kind of all started i kind of thought oh my gosh um i don't know how i'm gonna go with a little brand new one at home and jed all the time um because we don't have like close by family support or care um and because of the nature of lindsay's work hours it it, it would be me alone with the boys a lot of the time so like a long hours of the day and obviously when you have two and especially a little one it's just much like it's much more of an effort to get both of them out of the house all the stuff you have to take out managing sleeps and everything and breastfeeding and just like I know that I'm not going to be able to get out and about as much as I do with Jed and just give him that focused attention so I started thinking about daycare and then I looked into family daycare which if you don't know um, daycare is where you you know there might be I don't know how many kids they have but for example there might be 30 and then they have um, several uh, carers and there's often like a nursery area and an area for older kids family daycare is where there's usually just one carer and it's someone who's set up a daycare at their home and they have like about four kids there so it's very much it's it's very um personal personalized and intimate and that's something that i feel much better about doing for jed at the young age of two and i actually and you know we've been there a couple of times and um i think he's going to I think he's going to get a lot out of it. I think he'll like it. It'll be a little bit of an adjustment for everybody. And at the start, I'll just take him for an hour and then gradually build it up. Um, but yeah, he, he was having fun there the other day. It's just, it's good for him to be able to have a change of scenery, um, to be able to, able to have a definite day where he's playing with other little children his own age like we do do that with our friends around here but this is like a guaranteed um place for him to play and 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 do new things and also just for me um it will be just a little break from from looking after two so um at, at the start he's just going one day and then closer to when baby arrives or later in the year we might pick up a second day as well we'll just see how it's going um i think that's pretty much an update of everything that's been going on so thank you for watching thank you for caring to watch and uh i hope you enjoyed this video and i will hopefully be um, posting a little bit more frequently um moving on i want to put i want to make a video i had planned to do this over christmas like um a, a two-year-old christmas haul like presents um so after jed's birthday i might show you instead of showing you everything we gave him i'll show you some of the things that have been um the biggest hits for him so that's that's something i'll do coming up but thank you for watching again and i'll i'll talk to you soon okay Bye.